Good morning, last city. Stanley here with you on the second month, on the second day, on this holiest of days where the traveler conveys the words of our god king overlords known as Bungie. Bungie wishes to remind Guardians to watch the Lightfall exotic gear trailer, to read the Weapon Sandbox blog, and that it's Black History Month, Blues are Thanos Snap, Trials Map Voting, and Lightfall pre-launch downtime and pre-download details. That was a mouthful. Onwards to the Lightfall Exotic Weapon trailer. It's here to come for our wallets because Bungie knows at this point Stockholm Syndrome has long set in. Though this is old news, blue anagrams have been smited. Once Guardians reach the Power Soft cap, enemies that used to drop blues will drop purple anagrams instead. Furthermore, early in Lightfall, Bungie plans to have powerful enemies drop glimmer and the occasional purple when defeated. While on the topic of guns and loot, Banshee's reputation gains from other sources has been increased by 25%. In a small recap from Bungie's weapon tuning article, machine gun and heavy grenade launchers receive buffs, kinetic weapons have increased bonus damage, legendary linear fusion rifles are adjusted, subclass verbs for exotic weapons have been increased, and various perk tuning. An in-depth description can be found in the article itself, which we have not read because, well, Stanley's throat still raw and potentially bleeding from laughing too much. Now before Lightfall drops, D2 will go offline for 24 hours at 9 p.m. Pacific Time on February 27th, 2023. Kinda a little self-explanatory on the year, but whatever. In this period, players can pre-download Lightfall on all platforms. The download will be larger than a bulky-ass Titan, but the new installation will improve load times and overall disk space usage will shrink afterwards. Once Destiny is brought back online, sign-in queues are expected, and let's be honest, general chaos. On a more serious note, Black at Bungie, created more than two years ago, is ready to celebrate another year of Black History Month. Membership of their Inclusion Club grew exponentially this past year as they've continued their partnership with Yale University, where they help Yale with their research to improve video graphics for skin and hair. Furthermore, they continue to be a sponsor of Game Devs of Keller Expo. In 2023, Black Hat Bungie looks forward to building their internal community while also working on ensuring a voice in the development of Bungie and its universes. Guardians interested can show their support of Black Americans by purchasing the Be Heard pin at the Bungie store. All profits go to the Southern Poverty Law Front. Lastly, polls are open for the next Salt Mine map. Guardians may vote for Fortress, Twilight Gap, or Radiant Cliffs. Trials returns next week, so get to voting before polls close. Only you can prevent Twilight Gap. Now that's all we have for you. At this week at Bungie, thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a fantastic weekend.